This is my nephew, Marcus. He's new in town. He's staying with me until he finds a place. He is 31. You're a terrible hype man. <laughs> and you must be Gina. I heard a lot about everyone. Uh, take it, your Amy, Rosa, Terry. I'm Jake. Uh, we're both Jake. Scully and Hitchcock. <laughs> hey, well, just came to get the keys from my Uncle Ray. Let everybody get back to work. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Bye. Holy Moses. Bye. What? For you, that's basically walking up to him and jamming your tongue down his throat. Shut up. Yeah, it's Gina. That's enough. You're right. Sorry. Too far. But let me just add one little thing off topic. Rosa wants to bone your nephew. You remember my nephew, Marcus, the 31-year-old? He asked me to ask you if you are single. I told him I'm not a third grade girl with pigtails passing love notes. Yeah, it's so immature. Precisely. It's embarrassing. Agreed. I am single. Oh, I see. But if Marcus wants my number, he can ask me for it. But who will tell him that? Marcus, you leaving? Come, have breakfast with us. Yeah, Bradley. OK. And Detective Diaz is here as well. Hey. Hello, Kevin. Rosa. Marcus. Kevin. Uncle Ray. Marcus. And Cheddar. Cheddar is also here. Uh, would you care to join us? Sure. Shall we sit? I don't think sit. Good. Then feel no obligation to stay, Rosa. Detective Diaz. Detective Rosa Diaz is in my breakfast nook. So, who would like French toast? I can put a bacon smile on it. My being here is weird. This was a bad idea. We shouldn't see each other again. Wow, Detective Rosa Diaz has left. Hmm. This is a symbolic gesture. I'm speaking to you as a friend, not a captain. And as your friend, I have this brassiere you left behind in Marcus's room. Also, I just wanted you to know, um, I, I think Marcus is great and, uh, and you're great. And I hope the fact that you and I work together won't prevent you from dating, if that's what you want to do. I might. But I don't want to talk to you about it. Perfect, because I'm not comfortable knowing about it. Great. Then let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything. Done. Hey there, beautiful. Marcus, what are you doing here? Well, I know you lost your phone charger, so I got you a new one. Yeah, I want to make sure your phone's all juiced up by some sweet long-distance texting. Thanks. What do I owe you? It's a gift. All you got to say is thank you. I said thank you. That was the first thing I said. Sorry. You're nice. I'll text you. Can't wait. Inappropriate work, kids. Too fast. Can't stop me. Rosa D knocking down with a boo on the street. I love it. Say boo again, I will shoot you in the stomach. Fine. Love a boy it is. What did I just say, you Charles? Said, what did I just you say? You said not to say it. Hey, what are you doing down here? Lunch is ready. I'm texting Marcus. Hmm, texting. That's the most intimate thing you can do to a lover with your fingers, other than washing their hair. So I texted Marcus and he hasn't texted me back. I can't believe I'm asking this, but can you help me? Oh, Rosa, yes. I am the perfect person for this job. OK, let's get busy. What was his initial text? Can't believe I missed you this much after three hours, XO. XO, girl, marry him. What'd you write back? Ha ha the lame. It's a joke. I was insulting him, you know, flirting. You think he's mad? I bet he's heartbroken. No, no, we can fix this. We just have to write a very sweet, very heartfelt text that will jumpstart the conversation. Hey, baby. I don't call people baby. You do now. OK, so Marcus wrote, what you doing right now? Then a smiley face blowing a kiss. Oh, he's good. We could say, thinking about you. Oh, forget it, that's stupid. No, Rosa, it's poetry. Hey, I need to write Marcus back fast. He's already freaked out by how long it takes me to text him back. Listen, Rosa, there's nothing I'd rather do in my life than write a sexy text to your boyfriend. But I think this is something you got to do on your own. Why? You're so good at being lame, and I'm not. Yeah. 
Look, I like him. I really like him. I don't want to screw this crap up. That's what you should say. Just take that sentiment, remove the word crap, and then send it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, I sent it. He didn't write back, so he hates it. No, wait, look. Okay. Oh, okay. Dot, dot, dot. It's happening. It's a shirtless pick. We did it. We did it. Thanks, Will. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Don't follow me. Things are about to get intense. That makes sense. Rosa, I had a question about Marcus and the wedding. I'm not bringing Marcus. You guys broke up, huh? Mm, just hit it and quit it. We are so similar. We did not break up. I'm just not totally sold on the relationship yet, and I don't want to bring him to some stupid wedding where he might get all romantic and say I love you. I mean, what am I supposed to do then? Say I love you back? I've only said I love you to three people. My mom, my dad, and my dying grandpa. I'm one of those I regret. Which one? Grandpa. He beat cancer, so now I look like an idiot. Oh, man. Look, do you know why my mom loves you? Because you take big risks. Like how you got her that dog on your second date. <laughs> those kind of things just blow up in my face half the time. I mean, the dog worked out great, but... The dog was a disaster. She hates it. But she loved that you took that shot. Do you know who never, ever rushes into anything? Cowards. That's exactly right, Rosa. He's not playing my playlist. Congratulations, Charles. Marcus! Rosa said you weren't coming. Oh, yeah, I wasn't. I just got the call about an hour ago. Oh, but hey. I'm DVR and bones, so no spoilers. Don't worry, I don't watch. Too scary. I'm gonna ask the DJ to play Kokomo and get this place turned up. So, I didn't ask you to the wedding because I was being a coward. I was scared things were moving too quickly, but I don't give a crap. I love you. That's all I wanted to say. If you had plans tonight, you can get out of here. I love you too. doesn't have Kokomo. You guys are in the middle of something. I'm gonna go to the car and get my CDs. You wanted to see me, sir? We have a situation and it's bad. Check your email. No. Yes, Kevin insists on you and Marcus joining us for dinner at our house. But we agreed to keep our personal and professional lives separate. It is weird enough I am dating your nephew without dragging your husband and dog into it. You think I want this? Because I do not want this. Sadly, Marcus and Kevin can be held off no longer. OK. So what's our play here? My stomach's a little off. I could say I'm sick. Well, I've used a sick excuse for you eight times. I think they're catching on. You can say you're sick. No one would ever believe that. No. This is happening. Marcus, Detective Diaz, what a surprise. I didn't expect you for another nine and a half minutes. See, told you it was rude to be early. Well, let's cancel the entire evening and try again next year. <laughs> <laughs> she is hilarious. Thought you might need some help setting up. Oh, I'll put this in some water. Thank you. Marcus, you can help with the buff bourguignon. I sub shallots for onions in the mirepoix. No, are you kidding? I have no idea what he's doing. So Marcus, what uh, orchids can you name? Oh, that's easy. None. Uh, well, here are the orchids that I can name. Baclardia, Bellagladis, Benthamia, Diphylax, Dipodium, Evotella. Uh, Raymond, you know how much I love hearing you talk about orchids. Great, then there's Arianxis. Uh, but I would love to hear more about our guest. Rosa, tell us about your family. I have one. Oh, <laughs> you gotta give her more deep than that. Her father's a teacher, they're from Benton Harris. Speaking of which, have they finished repairing the Hubble Space Telescope? Yes, six years ago. So, do you have siblings? I have two sisters. I have to leave this. <clears throat> Whew, great idea. Take a breather. That was way too personal. No one needs to know you have sisters. New topic. The moons of Jupiter. I think I might be pregnant. Oh. 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 No. Are your bosoms tender? I'm going to pretend that you didn't just ask me that. Are your senses heightened? I think I might be pregnant, not bitten by a radioactive spider. Kevin asked me about my sister. She just told me she's pregnant, and that made me think, I've been feeling run down lately. My stomach's been weird. 
I just did the math in my head, and I think I'm a little bit late. Late to, uh... Oh, right, right, you're, um... What if I'm pregnant? Do I tell Marcus? What do I do with a baby? How do you take care of those things? Why are their heads so soft? Before you spiral anymore, you should take a pregnancy test. Yes, smart. Immediately. Oh, immediately. Immediately. Uh, very well. I'll figure out a way to get you out of here without arousing suspicion. Now I'm regretting blowing through my orchid material so quickly. Oh, no. Are you certain we have to cut the party short? Uh, yes. Unfortunately, Detective Diaz has an unexpected emergency to take care of. All right. Uh, do you need to go as well? No, it's not quite captain-worthy. But still advanced enough that Detective Diaz's talents are best qualified to handle the, um... Non-emergency emergency. Yes, precisely. See? <laughs> She's great. I should go do that. Now. Yes. Captain. Detective Diaz? I'm not pregnant. I see. I just wanted to say thank you. Talking to you was really helpful. Maybe mixing our personal and professional lives isn't as disgusting as it sounds. Yes, I agree. And I'm glad I could help. Now let's never talk about... Stop pointing at it. Yes, of course. Um, dismissed? I need your help moving this old Miss Pac-Man machine I just bought. Why are you so obsessed with that game? Because it's the sexiest video game ever. She's insatiable, Rosa. Insatiable. Insatiable. Stop saying insatiable. Anyway, I bought this old machine from a bar, and I was hoping you'd help me move it. You want me to go to a bar? Mm-hmm. You were obviously trying to get me to go to a surprise party. Did Marcus put you up to this? It's no it's crazy talking. We just need to be there exactly 9.45 p.m., not a minute earlier. Also, there's a particular door I want us to enter through. Where's this going? Rosa, listen to me. There is no party. Just get off my donut already. Don't lie to me, Boyle, or you will be eating your bone marrow custard through a straw. Well, that's exactly how you're supposed to eat bone marrow. Par ah! All right, there's a party. I can't give you details. All I can say is I know you, and I know you'll have a good time. If you knew me, you'd know I hate surprise parties, so clearly you don't know me at all. What? We're friends. I was building up to calling you Roro one of these days. That will never happen. In fact, you just lost Rosa privileges. From now on, you can call me Diaz or Hey You. Come on, Rosa. Come on, Hey You. I can't pull him over this close to the drop site. It'll alert the buyer. I say we follow him for a mile. Copy that. How's your mom enjoying the new phone you got her for her birthday on March 16th? Dude, stop saying random facts to try to prove you know me. That's not what I'm doing. I'm simply making small talk with my friend Rosa, who went skydiving once. Enough. I'm going to the dumb party, but only because I don't want to hurt Marcus. I'm still super mad at you. Mm, like how you're still super mad at Gilmore Girls for how the finale went down? I just want to see Lorelai happy. And shut up! Yeah, see? I know you so well, I knew it was tough. Oh! Okay. Before we go in, remember, you have to pretend to be surprised. How's this? Oh my god, it's so much worse than I imagined! The energy was great, but the message was flawed. All right, let's get this over with. Surprise. What's going on? I rented this entire bar so you and I could celebrate with no people anywhere near us. Probably should have hired a bartender, though. I have no idea how to make drinks. This is incredible. It was all Charles's idea. I told you I knew you, Roro. Thank you. <laughs> but never call me Roro again. Oh, but I will. I've earned this. Happy B Day, Roro! Woo! Guess I should be getting back. Uncle Ray, thank you for loaning me your best detective for lunch. Uh, my pleasure. Of course, she is entitled to 45 minutes as per her union contract. Okay. Well, <laughs> great to see you. Bye, babe. A minute, Detective Diaz. What's going on with you and Marcus? What are you talking about? Your shoulders tightened when he said, baby. Your nostrils flared when I asked what was going on with the two of you. And you have sag veneer on your sleeve, which, given your aversion to Indian cuisine, suggests you let him choose the restaurant. Why would you do that? Kindness. Pity. You're about to break up with him. Damn. You are good. Mm -hmm. Things aren't working out. I don't want to talk about it. I regret the words we've already spoken. Listen, I know I probably shouldn't get involved, but Marcus is my nephew, and I hope you'll let him down gently. Don't worry. I don't want things to be awkward. I'm gonna send him a text while he's sleeping that says, we're done. Clear, accurate, but do you feel like it's enough? 
We're done. Goodbye. Yes. That should do it. You wanted to see me? I told Kevin about how I approved of your strategy for breaking up with Marcus, and he said that we were, quote, sociopaths, unquote. So you're gonna leave him? No. I think he may have a point. You might need to do more than simply text. A long, drawn-out breakup is just gonna end in a big scene and Marcus crying. He has so many emotions. It's just so beautiful how much they love each other. It's a commercial for a refrigerator. Yes, it is daunting. But I did some research on amicable breakups. I visited www.ladiesgoodhealthmag.com backslash sex hyphen relationships backslash 8675999904 backslash 9432 ampersand 20.html. Do you know that site? No. Well, apparently it is less painful if you acknowledge the dumpy's feelings. Ew. But don't worry, we'll practice. Hmm? I'll be Marcus. Go. <clears throat> Marcus, I think we should break up. That makes me feel sad. I'm sad. Your sadness is noted. I feel acknowledged. Thank you for breaking up with me. Mm. It will take me eight minutes to collect my things. I think that went very well. Mm. Oh, you're back. How did the breakup go? I tried to acknowledge his feelings. It wasn't easy, there were a lot of them. He's just so confused. He's so sad. Are you climbing out the window? No. I climbed back in and we talked about emotions for 20 minutes. Dear God. I know, but I think it went well. And at least there was no crying. Well done, Diaz. I'm actually really glad you made me do it this way. I got to tell him that even though it was ending, it was incredibly meaningful to me. And I'm gonna miss him. Oh no. This is exactly what I didn't want. You crying? Thank you for coming, Diaz. I want to apologize for yesterday. Inserting myself into my employee's breakup with my nephew somehow uh, backfired. It's not your fault. I'm the one that made a scene like a dumb crying baby. I'm considering having my tear ducts melted shut. It's not the end of the world to feel things. I guess not. It's up there. The thing is, I really cared about Marcus, but he wanted to get married, and I'm just not ready for that. And if I'm not ready with a guy as great as Marcus, then what if I'm never ready? What if that was it, my one chance of love? What if I never get a second chance? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just sad. Well, I, I understand. It must be very difficult. Wait, are you crying? Yes. Thank you for acknowledging my feelings. Thank you for acknowledging mine. We're both great at this. <laughs>